I'm Teresa Ruth Howard for MyBodyMyImage.com and this is my third update in the spring cleaning eating raw experiment. So yes, this is my third week. I mean, it's kind of amazing that it's gone so quickly um, and I haven't suffered too much. Actually, I haven't really suffered at all. Um, but the third week was really interesting for a number, a plethora of reasons. Here's the first one. The first one is I found out from my good friend Ava Muller, who um, is a fantastic photographer, known her for years, and now she eats raw. I found out from her that you can actually steam, lightly steam vegetables. And um, that just changed everything for me because there were certain vegetables that I couldn't fathom or stomach or even, you know, approach completely raw. And the idea of steaming them was a, was opened up like the possibilities. And also I really miss the warmth of food. You know, it's very, you, you don't realize it, but to, to take warm food into your body is like, oh, it's like heaven. So, um, but the, the deal is that they have to be lightly steamed. You don't want to cook them. You know, you just want to like soften them up, tenderize them in a way with the heat. So what you do is you bring some water to a boil and then when it boils, you turn it off and you put the vegetables on a steaming tray and cover it and then let it sit for a while and then take it off. And if, if depending on what you're steaming, if it, it's not steamed enough, then you can repeat the process. But the key is to not have the steam on, the heat on while you're steaming. So you just want the, to let the, the heat rising from the hot water, not the bubbling hot water, but, but the settled hot water to kind of uh, cook the food, lightly cook the food. Um, so the first thing I did, and I'll post pictures, so delicious. Um, I did, I sliced beets, and the thing is, is like if you slice beets, and I did um, uh, potatoes, yes, I had a potato. Uh, love a potato any type of way <sighs> so I, I did the slice them very thinly so that they could they could take the heat and it would soften up with like one or two you know steam steamings um so I did that I steamed them first like the first time by themselves and then I took and threw a whole bunch of spinach on top of them and then steamed it the second time and then put a plate over it and flipped it and then had this like beautiful platter of of beets and potatoes so it was a very rooty um dinner and it was so delightful I mean it was like a gourmet meal because it was the first thing that I had had that was that was warm and it was like so delicious so I had that two nights in a row because I was like I was on a roll then I got really experimental and I tried to make a um a mushroom burger but I needed a dehydrator for it. So I searched the internet looking for a recipe that did not require a dehydrator and came upon um, a site that said that I could actually, instead of using a dehydrator, I could put the oven on the lowest setting and leave it slightly open and use that as to dehydrate but not cook the whatever it was. So I made my, I made my, um, my, uh, my, my mushroom burgers and they were freaking delicious. It's like, I don't even eat meat but, meat, but it was like steak. It was like, it was a real meal. And, and that, that's when I, I did that. And I think I did it over something like maybe the steamed uh, spinach again. But uh, uh, it was so incredibly good. And, I, and I'll put the recipe um, for that um, up for you guys. If you're if you're up for it, and actually it takes shorter time than a dehydrator because I think a dehydrator on the other recipes it was taking like um, 24 hours. I was like, who can wait to eat for 24 hours? I'm hungry now. Um, so, so I have branched out. Oh, and then I did sweet potatoes. I did sweet potatoes and something else. I took pictures of all my food. I'm one of those people now that takes pictures of food and puts it up. I always found those people to be really really annoying, but now that I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, I'm so proud of myself. Um, it also satisfied another part of me because you can kind of smell it cooking and I needed to hear, to have that sense um, fulfilled before I ate is to smell my food. And also I like to cook. So it was like you do something, you do have to go and check it and you know, there's there's all that sort of, I like the process of cooking before eating. Um, so that was one thing that was really, really a game changer and I think I can actually go further on this now that I know that I can, I have options like that, and it's not just cold vegetables or room temperature vegetables. Um, 
So then you could do like asparagus. You could do things that you would normally want to eat crunchy and, and raw, completely raw. But you could do things like that, that, um, that will be delicious and broaden your eating experience. That was one. The next thing is, okay, dudes, let me tell you something. I have absolutely no makeup on right now. I have no, okay, right. I have mascara on and some like a new color lipstick, but that's it. And the skin looks good. Although after I posted that my skin was like flawless from eating raw, I got two huge pimples, one here, one here. And I was like, what the heck? You know, that was, I was, I was like, see, that's what you get. That's what you get. But you know what it was? They were period pimples. That's what they were. But here's the thing. Usually I feel if you don't like period talk people stop now fast forward for about like a minute because this is how long it's going to take usually i can feel my ovulation i suffer with the pms literally i mean it's literally like my uterus is trying to like kill me just by letting me know it's there it's like i'm here and it's annoying um had none of that none of it i i got the two huge pimples and i was like ah um and then i felt a little bit like crampy and then it, you know, it went, I was like, oh, I must be ovulating because that's what would happen. I was like, oh, eight, eight days, 10 days here. She'll be here. Well, she just popped up. I was like, what? And, you know, basically no, 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 no like precursor to. So that was, that was interesting. Um, I was very, very tired and, and I did have cravings. Like I was like, like I wanted an uh, egg. I wanted an egg on a roll. Didn't have it. What I did have, and this was, I'll be honest with you, I had some oatmeal. I don't know if I'm allowed to have it. I don't even know if that's a bad thing. But I did have oatmeal and I had some tortilla chips, corn chips. I don't know. Like, But they were the good ones, gluten-free, you know, the health food ones. But I did have them. So that's, that's as far as I went. Now, usually all bets will be off when my friend comes to visit. I'm like, I can eat my body weight in sugar. And probably half of my body weight in salt, alternatively. Um, but I didn't do that, and I felt, you know, I feel, I feel okay. Um, and I didn't, my, the, I didn't wasn't bloated and all that stuff. I, I noticed that I didn't lose any weight. I felt like, oh, I had plateaued um, in terms of, you know, my weight coming down with eating raw. But then I, I thought, oh, well, if if my period's coming on, then that that's why. So. Next week, I'll be really skinny. Um, no, I don't know. Um, so that was very interesting. Um, the other thing I had been wanting to share with you, but I could completely forgot. Oh, by the way, if you had, if you fast forwarded through the period talk, this is where you should jump back in. Um, uh, was that the interesting thing about eating raw that I noticed was that, um, that I didn't feel full, like, bloated full you know how like when you eat a, a good meal and you're like oh and you want to like open up your pants and settle back and you feel tired or your stomach feels like it feels bloated it feels bloated and full and that's the feeling of having having eaten a really great meal i didn't have that feeling my stomach was really um it felt not empty but like flat like relaxed not distended and and i think that that's part of like the the lack of fermentation of the food that's in your stomach of cooked food or whatever but i felt really like my stomach was flat and sort of empty not hollow but not like full of of stuff um ever so that was a benefit um i'm really actually amazed and excited um and i'm not I, I'm definitely going to go a fourth week, which will make it like a month. Um, and it's not hard and I, I feel good. And it's, it's, it's very interesting now that I'm learning new ways and I'm learning, I'm broadening my parameters of the things I can eat and the way that I can eat them. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, surging forward um i don't know what i'm going to discover next week i hope to meet up with ava and maybe we'll do a joint thing and she can talk about her experience eating raw and what it's done for her and and things like that and in closing i just want to say that you know it's not for me it's not about changing um the way that i quote unquote live like i don't Think that I'm going to become a raw foodist. I don't think that that's necessarily the point. And a lot of people that I've been talking to, you know, were like, oh God, how long are you going to do it? Are you going to be raw? It's not, for me, it's not about that. I think it's more about 
finding things that make you feel good and and what works for you and I think that for most people it's not an absolute it's more of a combination of things and you know or it's it's to know how to get to feeling good you know you can eat a certain way um, and then if you start to feel not well you don't feel your best then you know that there's a way that you can eat that will bring you back to that um, Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, and I just remember this, is that my mental state is, <laughs> the people who know me are going to be like, oh Lord, what is she going to say now? Um, I'm still crazy, um, but, but I am a lot more centered, you know, I feel a lot, but I, I feel more grounded. Um, uh, sometimes I tend to be anxious inside, um. And not necessarily about anything in particular, but you know, that sort of like that thing that has you like this, you know, kind of like that. Okay. That looks like, like I'm crackish, like a crackhead, but, but you know, that's the feeling inside. Um, but I feel a lot more settled and a lot calmer, um, in general. And, um, I don't know if that's, that's a byproduct of the actual food or in my body and the way that my body is processing the food and it, or if it has something to do with the idea that you know I become more centered because I have to think about myself in a certain way and there's a preparation to to my day because my food has become important in a different way um, and I, I like that I feel a lot clearer mentally and I feel and, and also emotionally I feel sort of like you know, um, not depressed, but more like just really, really calm and, and centered. So that's a byproduct. Um, anyway, you know, that was kind of, I kind of jumped all over the place, but, um, it's, it's, I'm actually really kind of excited about it now. And, and, um, and I can't wait to, to see what's going to happen, you know, in this next week, hopefully, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll bring Ava to you and, um, she can share her experience and, um, I'm looking forward to it. So, um, here's to eating raw. Who knew, you know, so I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye now.